Now give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Because this is a commandment. Remember, Christ said, if you keep his commandments, that's who love me. So guess what? If you gonna keep this, if you keep this commandment, you love Christ. If you don't keep the commandments, you hate Christ. Right. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. My brother, come, come talk to us over here right quick. Come check us out. Yeah, we are. Let's check out all these things. Check it out. Hey man, we going over the commandments of God right now. I'm gonna get your nationality after. Read that again. Leviticus. You shave your beard? Let me ask you that. Uh, you shave your beard? Yeah. Okay, read that. This this applies to you too. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Come on. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So you should not shave your head bald like Michael Jordan, Steve Harvey. Read. Neither should they shave off the corner of their beard. You can't, you not, according to the Bible, you're not supposed to be shaving your beard. That's breaking the commandment of God. You understand that? So, by you shaving your beard, is it what? It's a sin. You're sinning. You ain't know that, did you? You ain't know that. All right, let me ask you a question, bro. What's your, what's your nationality? What's your race? African-American. African-American? All right. Can you get on the land and fly to African-American? No, right? Okay, so how is it that you say that you are African-American? How do you believe that you are African American? Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1, 27 and 1 first. I'm going to show you your true nationality according to the Bible. Because guess what? You're not African American. We are better than African American. This is what God calls us in the Bible. My brother, stop by and listen. Man, you are an Israelite. Stop by and listen. You ain't got nothing better else to do, bro. Come on, come on, man. Just come on. Come on, come over here, bro. You ain't got, you ain't got, don't, don't even bother to go fool over with the men, man. Come over here. This is your history. This is the best information. They damn sure ain't gonna tell you this information. Just come over here and listen, man. Read that. Deuteronomy, chapter 27, and verse 1. Come on. And Moses with the elders of Israel. Listen, he's talking to y'all. The Moses with the elders of Israel. Read. Commanded the people saying, Uh huh. Keep all the commandments. He said, Keep all the commandments. 28 and 15. Now. Watch this. I'm going to be very uh, quick with y'all. You know what I'm saying? He said, All the elders of Israel. So remember, he's talking to who? Israel. He's talking to the Israelites. He's not talking to African Americans. He's not talking to black. He's not talking to he Negro. He's not talking to Baptists. He's not talking to none of that. He's talking to the Israelites. That's a nation. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 Watch verse 15. This. And this is going to prove that y'all are the nation of Israel. This is going to prove that you are an Israelite. Read. But it shall come to pass. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now remember, he said... If y'all don't hearken and listen to the voice of the Lord your God, read. To observe to do all his commandments. So if y'all don't keep the commandments, which, you know what I'm saying, y'all in sin right now, but y'all don't know yet. You know what I'm saying, y'all in sin, so we broke the commandments, read. And his statutes. And his statutes, read. Which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. Uh-huh. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now look at the sound, bro. Like, do you think that these is curses? Is it a curse? That's a curse, right? You think that's a curse? You, you don't think slavery was a curse? Slavery was a curse. But we're going to read slavery in the Bible. This actually happened. And guess what? This was prophesied over 3,000 years ago. So guess what? That means the Bible is a true book because slavery is in the Bible. This is how you know that you are an Israelite. Read verse 16. Verse 16. Come on. Cursed shall thou be in the city. The Bible says, Cursed shall thou be in the city. If you look around this man neighborhood right here, huh, is, aren't we cursed as a people? Are we getting gunned down by the police? Are we killing each other? Are our young black men getting lynched? Yes. What about the uh, the incarcerated? The highest incarcerated? Guess what? That's our people. We are cursed. Which means what? We are the nation of Israel. We are not African-American. We are not Baptists. 
We are the nation of Israel. We are the Israelites. You are the best nation on this earth, and I'm gonna show you that. My brother, pay attention. I, I got you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check back. Give me chapter verse 32. Watch this. Watch this. Read that. Verse this, is how you, this is how you know that you are an Israelite. Read. Verse 32. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters. It says, Thy sons and thy daughters Read. shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? Thy sons and thy who children was taken from them and given to another race of people. Who did that happen to? Black folks, right? You seen any slavery movies like Roots? That happened to us. That's in the Bible though. That's in the Bible. Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible says your sons and your daughters was given to another race of people. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Nothing you could have did about it. Read. And thou shall be no might in thy hand. Guess what? You ain't had no military might, no police, no, none of that to get your children back. Jump to verse 48. Look on the front of y'all flies. Look on the front of y'all flies. I want y'all to get this information. Put out your flies. I want y'all to actually see this. Look at the first picture. First picture up there. Watch this. Read that. Verse 48. Come on. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Guess what? The Bible says you will serve your enemies. Who is the so-called black man serving in America today? So-called Caucasians, right? The Bible called them your enemy. Who did we serve in slavery? The Bible calls them your enemy. They are not your friend. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent our enemies against us. The Lord sent the Caucasian race against us. Why? Because we broke his commandments. The same thing we are doing today. What you say? Hold up, hold up, bro, 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 bro. I got to show you. You are, if you go in that store and buy, hey, you are sent. Teach them. Come on. Come on. Hey, give them water so you don't have to go spend on the sand. Uh, you, you want water? We got water for you, bro. So you ain't gotta go get so you ain't gotta go spend your money. Why? Because that's sin. Give me Nehemiah 10 and 31 real quick. We don't want our brother sinning. We out here for you. We trying to stop that. This is how you stop the drugs in the communities. This is how you stop the drug dealing. This is how you stop the black on black crime. It's because we in the midst of sin. This we have love for our people. Read that real quick. Nehemiah 10 and 31. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. Come on. And if the people of the land bring prayer by any victuals. Now watch this. Listen. This is the prophet Nehemiah. He said, if the people bring any well or any victuals, that means good or food or anything like that. Because we have the gates around Jerusalem. Read. On the Sabbath day. So there were the other nations. They came and set up their little shops and things like that for us to come by from. The same thing we have today. They have their stores in our community for us to come by from. On the Sabbath day, which is today. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. This is what this is what we just stopped you from doing. That is a sin. We on the Sabbath day to sell. Come on. That we would not buy it. We would not do what? That we will not buy it of them on the Sabbath day. We're not supposed to be buying on the Lord's Sabbath day. This is why we have to stop you from going in that store to buy. We want our people to repent. It's because, you know what I'm saying, that's why we gave you a bottle of water. Because we want our people to repent from their sins. Now let's go back to our nationality. Let's go back. Because what nation are you? What race? I, I, did, I, I remember, what, what did God call you? What did God call you? I want to make sure you paying attention. Okay. I'm trying to call no. My brother, what's your race now? African. Okay, so we still we still need teaching to do our nationality. I'm showing you what I'm showing y'all is we are the nation of Israel. You're not African American. You're not African American. You're not Baptist. We are the nation of Israel. This is what we show you. Deuteronomy 28. This is how you know that you are an Israelite. That's why we went to slavery in the Bible. To show what? That you are the nation of Israel. This is this, this, this is why we went to that. So let me make sure again, my brother. What's your nationality? Israel. 
Israelite. What was your father? Abraham. Abraham. So you know. Your father was Abraham. So you 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 should know that you are an Israelite. You should be calling yourself African American. African American is a byword. That's a curse too. Deuteronomy 28, 37. African American, that is a byword. Black, that's a byword. Because guess what? This brother may be older than his nationality of African American. You know what I'm saying? So every 10 years, why every 10 years our nationality change? Before that, we was Negroes, Coons. You know what I'm saying? Why, why is that? Though? It's because we broke the commandments. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 37. Come on. It thou shall become an astonishment. Now, now listen to this. The Bible says thou shall become an astonishment. What's an astonishment? It's like if you see, let's say you sitting on your porch in the neighborhood, right? And you see one of your own people of a black race, you see him walking past. You feel like, who that is walking in my neighborhood? You looking at him astonished. But yet, a so-called Caucasian, he'll walk out, he'll be like, oh, that's just white folks. That's an astonishment. We look at each other as astonishment. Read. It does should become an astonishment, a proverb. In a proverb is a wise saying. Black people are always late. Hey, y'all pay attention. Y'all pay attention. A uh, proverb is a wise saying. Black people are always late. Negroes love chicken and watermelon. That's a, that's a proverb. Read. A byword. A byword is what he just called himself African American. Would you call yourself black, Baptist, all of that? That's bywords. This is how you know what? That you are the nation of Israel. You're not African American. What's your nationality? You are the nation of Israel. What's your nationality? What you say? What you say? What's your nationality? Hold on, my brother. Where you going? I, what, what's your name? So, I, I know, but I'm going to go for this. Deuteronomy 28. Watch it, because you just call yourself an African American again. I stopped the listening. I'm not going to listen. Right, right, right. So, you just call yourself African American again. Right? But that's not your nationality. 27 and 1 again. Let's get it. This is what this is what I was showing you in Deuteronomy 28. This is how you know that you are an Israelite. You're not an African American. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 27 and verse 1. Come on. And Moses with the elders of Israel. He said Moses with the elders of Israel. The book of Deuteronomy is speaking to the nation of Israel. Moses was talking to the nation of Israel. Now jump to 28 and 15. This is how you know that you are an Israelite. This is how you know that. You're not an African American. What's your nationality again? You're an Israelite, that's right. That's right. Well, uh, your daddy was an American black? Israel. Yeah, uh, right, right, you is. But I'm saying what America called us is American blacks, right? So was your father an American black? So you will be from the tribe of Judah. So you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. All right, 28, 32. Verse 32. Come on. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So this is how you know that you are an Israelite. Why? Because that only happened to the nation of Israel, which is your people, which is the so-called what? American blacks. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.